has a command for you. You are to watch your first YouTube video and record a reaction video and commentary for it. Hello and welcome to The Cabal Commands. Uh, this is a new segment where the upper echelons of my Patreon supporters get to command me to make one video each month and I've gotten my first command. So I, I often have conversations with people where I say, you know, you seem like you have something that you really care about. You should make YouTube videos. And they say, well, I, I watch, uh, I have a lot of favorite channels. I watch a lot of my favorite YouTubers and they make amazing videos. Uh, and I don't think I could make anything that amazing. So, you know, what's the point? And I always tell people, well, find your favorite YouTubers and go back and watch their first videos because their first videos are routinely terrible, like they're awkward or just badly made. And, um, you know, that, that should give you some inspiration because they got to where they are today by kind of iterative improvement. But I'm, I'm not saying that my videos are amazing, but they're definitely better than my first video. And I think I've said this a few times and I think I've said it a few times too many because the first command from the cabal has been to watch my first uh, video and react to it. So I have arranged for us today to gather together and look back into the past. And I have not seen this video for several years now. I and mean, I have some vague memory of, of how it looked, um, but we will see once we look down the barrel. Let's go ahead and do it. So you're gonna press play. Let me see this. Uh, uh, welcome to Lachlan Likes a Thing, a show where I find a and thing and see whether or not I like it. My name is Lachlan, and I'll be your host looking at so uh, if... the thing that we're going to see whether I like or not like today. Um, There's a so certain for, earnestness uh, video, I remember about the thing that we're making. Going to be looking at is the Sennheiser Momentum headphones. Making this first video. Now, Sennheiser. Now, I'll, I'll pause it for a second. I'll give you some context. I'll give you some context of um, how I started making these YouTube videos because I sort of, I, I watched a lot of YouTube videos uh, of headphone reviews at the time. Um, and I thought, you know, I, I think I can, I think I can add something to this. Uh, and at the same time, I had just bought a pair of Sennheiser Momentums. And I was also thinking about, you know, I wanna, I wanna make some art projects about social media, but I don't know exactly what I want to do, but I want to still be able to have some experience and work some things out and improve some of my skills beforehand. So I started making these videos uh, and, and I, I remember buying a pair of Sennheiser Momentum very close to the release date and thinking, hey, I should make a video about these because there's no, there's no reviews about these. Um, so that's, what, that's how I started making this video. Um, and, and then we'll just pop back in there and we'll start playing again. Um, and you can see that I've got the... Oh, that's a really nice freeze frame. That's a really beautiful freeze frame. Uh, okay, Quite so let's do that. well-known name in audio circles. And this is their first lifestyle headphone. So... A lifestyle headphone is a category of headphone that was really interesting. So someone suggested to me that I should wear the same shirt beats. as I did in this video. That shirt Line doesn't really fit me anymore. That generally means um, a pair of headphones that's... I was a bit skinnier back then. Uh, I catch so the design, that's one reason. Um, the other the thing is you can time, notice that the camera, I just noticed that the camera is not focusing on me on this video. It's actually focusing now, a lot of on, the, like on the speakers the and the headphone headphones. stand in the background, which is a little technical uh, note, due, note to self. Uh, Monster was the first a lot of to technical really things I sort of corrected. One of them is, for instance, not to sit directly in front of a window, a bright window to do these videos. But and the hair is pretty much the same. We wouldn't be seeing the kind of competition in the market that we do today were it not for the introduction, the very aggressive introduction in the market. This is my long um, preamble about Monster headphones. headphones. And sort of and like... One of the products of that competition is the Sennheiser Momentums. Now, sort of like setting this context first up. First with the design, as you can see, the Sennheiser Momentums are a beautiful um, piece of gear. 
And the interesting thing is, you can see this sort of, kind of old school look I mean, them. it's not like it's not apparent in my current Very videos, dapper. but you can see this sort of tension quality. in so my delivery. Is, you know, and one of the reasons is, I believe this was the with, second or third uh, take. Leather, leather, and at that point in time, I was doing this thing where I would um, headband cushion and remember what I had to say and then just do it all in one take yeah, because I didn't want to do any editing. Um, so I was just dreadfully afraid of really making any mistakes. Supple, uh, nice cable, so very premium materials used throughout. Uh, and also, a lot of people don't like me using the word design. supple this now, way. I've gotten comments ears, where people say, this is not the way you should use supple. Style over substance. Sorry, style, style over, over substance. Because um, it, it's apparent that the engineers at Sennheiser have really thought about the ergonomics I can't design. even remember what phone uh, I have there in the background because that doesn't look like an iPhone. Headphones, um, and the clamping force is very comfortable. So, you know, they feel secure, but at the same time, they feel very comfortable. Like, you know, there's not much on your head at all. Um, they weigh under about 200 So, grams one thing I'm not doing in this video, clamping. which I did a lot in the now video I made right after this design one, design is that which is the e Sony e MDR1A review, is that in that one I scratched a lot, small. and that was really gross so as well, because I got comments from people saying, you look like a, you look like a monkey. Um, this one, I'm not scratching so much, which I'm so thankful well. for. Um, so... Luckily for me, my, my ears are probably about average size and they fit in the ear cups. They touch the sides of the fabric, but luckily because the leather is very breathable. And I, and I made no that decision very early on that I was going to, I was going to talk a lot about the, the ergonomics of a headphone. I remember making that decision very consciously in the beginning. Seeing if you can hunt down a pair for yourself just to try whether or not they'll be comfortable for your ears. Um, I don't have the, the momentum anymore, by the way, the in case you're wondering. I sold them very early on. Like I think about a year after this video. Of abuse. Uh, they do seem well made, but they don't seem uh, well engineered. Um, so, you know, after a few years, I wouldn't be surprised if one of the cables were to break. Luckily, the cables are detachable. One of the, one of the sad things about being a reviewer is I can never really follow up on these um, questions about durability, really nice like, because number one, I have too many headphones, so it's not like I can wear that many headphones at the same time. A straight angle plug. Um, I, I don't wear them for the same kind of lifespan as a normal person who would have one pair of headphones. And number two, I tend to sell them after a while. So, I don't know, if you own a pair of Momentums, shout out in the comments, let me know if they actually lasted, whether that cable actually turned out to be a problem. I don't know. In terms of sound, these are probably the best headphones that I own personally. They're not the best headphones that I try. Um, but ah, certainly in the category of times. closed portable headphones. The best headphones um, that I owned at that time were the Sennheiser Momentum. And I think that was true. Um, I think I had cost Porter Pros. A warmer sound, a darker sound. So what that means is that there is an emphasis Some clip. on yeah, the bass and the lower mids. In Some in-ears. I had a high fi man uh, re time, uh, Even though the treble isn't the star of the show, they're still very clear. There's no... Um, feeling of congestion or of bloated bass or anything like that. It's still um, a very clear, transparent sound. You know what I'm sort of surprised by when I rewatch this video? That last 10 this sparkle, video is like six, eight minutes long. How long is this? Like an open headphone that would make them sound um, about eight minutes long. Beautifully clear. I'm actually um, delivering a fair amount of information in that eight minutes, which makes me think, think, what is going um, on now <laughs> with my longer videos? I don't know. Long extended periods of listening. If I could get back no to this time, sound, maybe. It's going to give you any sort of ear fatigue. So again, if you were listening, particularly at higher volumes on a plane or, or a bus ride, um, you, you wouldn't get um, tired ears after a while. And again, that points to the kind of uh, intended usage for these headphones. Uh, alternatives to the Sennheiser Momentums include I also had this huge Sony problem with cutting MDR the music, one, which, which is like this three minute track, video. to cut this particular um, song that it would last for eight minutes. And I don't know why my instant. Oh, it was because, because I watched this one camera like the review the video where they used music in the background, and I really liked uh, the way it felt. They are the most direct competitor to these so, because Bowser Wilkins is again 
um, I made sperm. made this video say, with that music. Today I don't use music for the whole um, video. Um, because I found the P5s yeah, sometimes I do. I'm very undecided about that whole question sounds, of music. Some people seem to like it, some people don't seem to like it. Obviously there is wrong music to choose. Whereas with the momentums, while they're still quite dark, um, there is a lot of clarity and a lot of good performance in the technicality. So really visceral sound stage, a really good sense of instruments popping in and around um, your ears. They don't sound completely open like a completely open headphone, but they sound pretty close. And for the price, um, I, I, I think that the, the terms that I'm using in this first video are, are slightly more, um, they do I guess, beginner friendly. Best, I'll put it that way. I don't, I don't know how else to put it, but I've heard of. I guess I was trying to be a bit more accessible so, or yeah, I was a little um, less sure about my opinions at that point in time. Momentums are a thing that I like. But it's not altogether uh, dissimilar now, from my current videos, is which is sort of surprising. The thing I would have liked to see in the design is if it folded up in some way into a more compact shape. They are already very small, but it would have been nice to That hair is annoying. Up. And Again, I say that with the, the, with the total realization that I have the hair, the same work. haircut. So I've been doing the whole do pulling the hair thing up cases, and then you so get like, I'm getting these warring camps of some people it's saying really it's disgusting and other people saying that they like it. Sort of, um, um, as I've always said, it's a transitionary of, state. Really I'm going to work out what to do now, with it. Like I feel like the hair anyway, is the, the one um, constantly so evolving narrative for the channel that people will seem to have latched onto, which is all right. It's probably better than other things you could latch onto. Go out give them a go um, and you know you can look like a real gentleman or a real gentlewoman uh, wearing these very nice headphones. And from the beginning I wanted to be inclusive. Now, um, thanks for watching this video. This is my first video review so uh, I would really love any questions or comments. Or yeah, I remember I'll set up the Gmail the at the same time. Um, and I hope you have a happy holidays and enjoy the rest of And it was around the end of the year wasn't it? It was around, um, it was. If it hasn't ended by tonight. And then a slightly dark note to end. If it ha hasn't ended by tonight, I guess I meant that you might be watching the video at around, um, at around, at around New Year's time. I guess that's what I meant. Okay, so that was, that was, um, one of my, that was my first video. And, and I, I, I've been vaguely tempted at times to just take those first videos off the internet, but I guess looking back, it's, it, it's, not, it's not terribly awkward. Been asked by Mer Meredarai, how did it feel to watch that first video again? Slightly less embarrassing than I thought it would be, um, but I feel like with YouTube... You know, I tell people, I tell people to make videos, um, and and they say that they're not willing, like that they're afraid that they'll make crappy videos, and and it's technical skill that holds them back. I honestly feel like it's not technical skill that holds people back from making videos; it's having a particular sense of shame. <laughs> Because if you don't have a normal sense of shame, then you're okay to make YouTube videos. <laughs> um, I guess, but I, I think that I think depending on your on your sense of shame, that determines whether or not you are willing to put stuff out there. And I honestly think that you know I I always say if your video is a crap. Like, what, what's the worst that can happen? You make crap videos, people won't watch them, no one will know you made a crap video. Unless you somehow make it so crap in such a magical way that the video goes viral. In which case, I guess, you know, you can either sort of live with it and kind of own that, uh, or just, just never show yourself in public again. Um, I think those are the, those are the two sort of options, but... But honestly, the likelihood of you making a viral video is very, very small. 
um, because there's so many B movie videos that people would much rather watch. I, I still I still maintain go go and you know sort of go make videos. Don't feel too bad about them when they turn out to be bad. Learn from your mistakes. Get a haircut, and then make more videos. That's my advice. Anyway, so that was it for this first segment of the Cabal Commands. Um, next week, we're going to be doing the Thinkcast, the end of year Thinkcast. I'm going to go through some of my ba 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 favorite things. Um, and we're gonna also going to find out what's the uh, next command from the Cabal over the new year. And if you would like to join the Shadowy Cabal, maybe to tell me what to do, or maybe even just to join the Discord server and have a chat, um, you can do that. You can head on over to patreon.com slash lock and likes a thing. You can check out all the kind of cool stuff that you uh, get as being a Patreon supporter, as well as helping out the channel. So um, I will see you next week in the Thinkcast. Uh, and until then, uh, happy listening. Can you hear that car alarm, by the way? Did any of you hear that car alarm? Is it not slowly driving you mad? Because it will slowly drive me mad uh, over the course of this stream. But that's all right. That's okay. Ah, it stopped. No, it started again. I thought, I, I thought for a moment there that I had some power in this world.